One of the most common things that we hear in our work with clients, especially companies that are undergoing change, is the request for how do we help people get on board with the change? How do we help them not be so resistant to the change? And often when we're working with folks, we'll ask the question, you know, how many of you believe that people fear change? And almost 99.9% uh, .9 of the time, people will agree with that statement. But I'm here to just shed some light on that and to offer a different perspective. It, it isn't that people fear change. Actually, we change all the time. We are not the same people we were last week. We are certainly not the same people we were in the before times, before the pandemic started. Um, we shift and change and evolve in beautiful ways. That's one of the things that makes humans incredible. So when people are struggling with change, if you are struggling with change, one of the places we look to is, it's not that people fear change actually, they fear loss. And that could be real loss, that could be imagined loss, that could be a loss that isn't a loss for me, but is a loss for them, right? It could be a loss of um, being the resource expert on the team because we're going to a new software and I'm not going to be the person who's known it for the last 10 years. It could be a loss if I'm reporting to a new manager and I don't know um, how I feel about them. It could be a loss and I'm not going to be working on the same team. It could be any number of loss. And the thing that we have to understand about the brain is that it will respond in the same way, whether it's real or imagined. So the next time you find yourself thinking, oh, people just need to get on board with this change. And why are they so resistant to change? I want you to change your language. And remember, what is it that they're losing? Or what is it that they're afraid they're going to lose? And as a leader, we might not be able to make adjustments or do changes, but we can hold space, we can name it, we can honor it, we can have a conversation about it so that we can all move forward together.